All right, since the uh, auto parts store gave me the wrong gasket, we're gonna go ahead and make a gasket that fits on this guy right here. And there are multiple ways to do this. I'm going to go ahead and use some of this gasket paper. You can see the part number there. I'll link that in the description. I think it's actually cheaper on Amazon than it is at the auto parts store. If you're gonna make any gasket, you wanna make sure it says it's rated for whatever type of fluid it's sealing out. So in this case, it's coolant. Got our handy dandy garage scissors here. Let's go ahead and cut out a piece that's going to be similar in size. There's our piece there. Now, if you watch some folks on YouTube or you know other tutorials, they're going to tell you to hit this with a hammer. And I agree you should probably do that because you want to cut it, or you can cut it by hand with scissors or a razor blade. Doing it this way with a hammer will get you a pretty good result, but I don't really like to use a steel hammer on these aluminum parts, just because I'm always worried about denting the edges. If you have a softer type of hammer, I would say try to use that first and see if you can get the results that you want. And this is just a body hammer. It's used for pounding into steel. And we're just gonna hit this all the way around. And try not to move your gasket too much. And what you're trying to do is get the gasket to cut. You see that? Since the part is aluminum, I really did not want to use the steel hammer. You can see this hammer has a nice little point, and that helps me get through these little curved areas. When you get to a part where there's a bolt hole, you can kind of hit that too. And it acts kind of like a punch. And look at it, it's almost like a cookie cutter. Now we're going to work on the inside here. Perfect. Now you can see we have a nice little gasket. And this, ooh, we didn't cut it too good right there. There we go. Let's try to hammer that one out a little bit more. All right. Good enough. There we go. Like a glove. Now let's get our Dotson running.